Hi, it's Sonia. Welcome back to this art YouTube channel. Um, today is going to be an abstract process uh, video in real time. So come sketch with me. I'm just having a quick flick through, as you can see, um, some of my recent pages in this sketchbook and dating this one because um, one of the things I'm really trying hard and I still don't do it um, is to date my work. Um, and yeah, and then this is uh, going to be a mixed media page. There's collage, uh, marker lines. Uh, so just playing around with some uh, materials to hand. And yeah, it's about 18, 18, 19 minutes. So hopefully time to get a sketch in with me. Um, I will uh, describe the, my process a bit, just in case I notice anything that I don't know, like it might be give you some tips or um, um, inspiration for your uh, this sort of type of work um, but yeah otherwise also I was going to have a chat today about why I am pretty much starting my day with um, this sketchbook this has become like my go-to sort of warm-up um, I'm going to make it the equivalent of like the morning my sort of my morning pages but in an art way for me at the moment um, so yeah, just wanted to have a quick chat about that. Um, but whatever you're drawing, um, I hope you're having fun. And yes, so basically here I am starting off with uh, making, playing around with some old work. I've got some like old, um, a box of old bits and bobs. Like they're like old scribbles and old abstract drawings I did ages ago and um, I could basically recycle them but I was like no let's cut them up and then use them as collage for the sketchbook and other pieces on paper and I really this is a great for me one of my go-to methods if look sometimes I really actually do like the blank page of a sketchbook and I don't want anything there. I just want to make my marks in pen or get drawing. But sometimes adding these collage elements for me is just a real jumping off point and allows me, uh, it's something to respond to. And, uh, but it's still my own work. And at the same time, it's like, um, I guess it's a bit of a constraint maybe because you've, you've added, you know, I've added that sort of, that was an old marker sketch. Now I'm adding this kind of contrasting colours, this bit of uh, the abstract in. It's like, okay, so where do I go from here? Like, how am I going to bring this together? Am I going to bring it together? I mean, maybe it's going to look quite, um, still look quite separate by the end of it. And then I like to, yeah, play around with the positioning of the different elements. I mean, it's just great fun. It's like, um, yeah, it's like, you know, you move... Being able to, I have found actually, I've got to be honest, like collage, I was never, I've always struggled like it. So I wanted to do collage, but I didn't really get the hang of it maybe in other work as such. But within abstract work, I find it just really adds um, just some more interest and it's just a fun part of the process as well. Um, so then I add, what else do I have? Add. At the end, I add some tissue paper. I really like keeping, um, you know, when you get sometimes like things wrapped up or plates and stuff. Like if you get tissue paper, I now keep that because I love how um, you can layer it over uh, other drawings and they come through. But at the same time, it's kind of like muted. So you'll see that at the end. And then as forever, I really also like to have a box of, um, I've got a box of kids cheap markers to my right. I always grab a little handful and then see what uh, see what I pull out. And so here we have just some making marks and drawing some. I've obviously felt the need for some lines, and yeah, just going back to. I guess it's childhood play, isn't it? The whole when you used to colour in colouring in a section always. I mean, let's be honest, obviously adult colouring, there is something intrinsically calming and relaxing. And what I love in our own abstract work is you can add those shapes in to make your own piece, but you get to do that kind of like the fun filling in an area is really satisfying. Just, you know, it just, just is for me personally. 
Um, see, so yeah, while I'm doing all the sort of the mark making, I really, yeah, I thought this would be a good opportunity, because it is an abstract search of page, to talk a little bit more about uh, how it's sort of changing my practice. So yeah, I, I think the thing, why I am trying every day to make this the first bit of art I go to or create, is I have found it so much more like energising and it's, I think it's, as I just spoke about before, oh gosh, sorry, that's my chair creaking. Um, it is like, for me, the equivalent of art, sort of like the morning pages, like writing your three pages, getting stuff out of your head, emptying your head. Like, it helps me to, because I'm going to be really honest, I think, look, I, I can be... And I still struggle with a lot of um, like self-sabotaging, kind of like negative uh, inner, inner talk. You know, you might say, oh my gosh, you seem to do what you want to do um, on your art channel. You've got abstract, you seem to be quite happy going down sort of a childish, naive route or drawing loose drawings and then drawing portraits like you. Maybe it doesn't seem, I don't know, would you, would people who know me guess that? Um, but the reality is... I think, like a lot of artists, I am probably of a more uh, sensitive nature. And I do, um, one of the things I know about myself, like you sort of get to know, is I can, I can be easily, like, influenced. And um, I don't, I feel like I can, yeah, I can easily, if I wanted to, be really negative and self-critical of my work. And I know that's not helpful now because it just stops you, it would just stop me making it. Um, so, so one of the, why I love doing this abstract work is it's a real chance for me to start the day off um, on a very open, accepting footing for myself, a, a playful footing. Um, I think if I started with a portrait, in a very traditional fashion, uh, you know, I could do that, and I do enjoy realistic work still, I still enjoy when I can make, you know, what, especially for some people would say, certain people would say, oh, that's a good tradition, you, you're using your um, drawing skills, like perspective and um, measuring, I could do that, but I think I would find that would put me more in a sort of a conservative frame of mind. I can also feel quite drained from doing that sort of drawing. It's quite tiring because you really are concentrating. And um, it can be really frustrating because I think, I don't know if I've talked about it here, but I know like I draw freehand, I don't use guidelines or grids. So a lot of the time it can go wrong and not be quite right. And that can be frustrating for me. Uh, whereas, I love, I'm really loving uh, abstraction and the sort of intuitive, playful, expressive pages because it gives me a chance to um, just sit with myself for a bit in the morning to kind of like let thoughts come and go with regards to art. I think it's harder for me to be um, self-judgmental and um, I don't know, start to worry about what other people might think about my art. If, when I, if I'm doing it and I'm enjoying the process so much and then I get to look at the work and I'm like, you know, that to me is visually pleasing. I get a lot of sort of energy and it makes me want to carry on painting, like makes me think about how could I uh, use some of these colours and um, shapes in works on canvas so it makes me yeah it makes me like much I feel like it's much more an energizing thing to start a way of working to start the day it's a really good warm-up exercise and I can also respond to you know how to my mood and my feelings I think a lot more because I can choose the colors um, but at the same time, I can also limit myself. I can say, oh, you know, if I'm getting too indecisive that morning, if I'm starting that morning, there's too many things I have to make decisions on in real life, for example. There's too many things going on. 
maybe I can bring everything back a bit, pare it down in a page and say, you've just got three colors. Like this, you're gonna make art and you're just gonna use these three colors or even one color, one pen. Like it's nice to have some control over the limitations or the expansiveness of a page. Um, so it's just great fun. Here I'm using, now, now I've gone in for oil pastels as well. So sometimes I kind of like the contrasts in marks that you get with the different materials. So um, like I like the, you know, the lines of the markers um, and then you've got sort of more the big broad strokes of the oil pastel next to it, that sort of um, well, gunkiness, but I don't know how to describe it. But it's much more like scratchy, the texture. Because so you get the textures on the paper as well, which is always great fun. So yeah, and then I think also the other thing I've learned through doing this um, is again when we've talked about, people say about forming a habit, 30 days, um, everything that's kind of, I feel, been worthwhile, like it's good to have a little bit of persistence with it. So I would say for anybody who's maybe starting off with um, abstraction or keep starting to keep an abstract sketchbook, I know full well from my past, and um, I can't even, so the thing is, I can't share my first abstract sketchbooks with you because I threw them away. Because when I first got into this style of art, it was so, I knew it was so different to uh, say what some of my family would like or what, I don't know, what I'd previously um, surrounded myself with or what I felt I was known for um, in, known within my like maybe family and friends and some people who knew my Instagram I was like this is so different um I just yeah I sort of threw myself into it but I was like and I did it every day and I enjoyed doing it I enjoyed the process but sometimes I'd look at the page and be like oh, this isn't just what's wrong with this this is not how I wanted it to go I didn't get out of my head on the page um what I wanted and I think looking back I think part of the problem was, I think you've got to start everywhere. So I was, you know, researching abstract art. I think I've read the book on the, um, that ninth, is it the Ninth Street Women? And I was looking, I've had the book on, with their pictures, like, you know, jo, is it Joe Mitchell? And, and yeah, basically, I think I was perhaps um, sort of copying a bit too much. Uh, and I wasn't just letting myself explore it in my own way which is kind of what I do now and I think I enjoy it more and I actually prefer the results so I really honestly um when I looked back at those sketchbooks I yeah I just let them go I didn't want to keep them um so yeah for anybody who is I think some people like maybe have started this and like oh this is really great and this is going really well but I do also um understand that when you start out with something new I guess there's that whole, you know, you make, make, was it make bad art, make ugly art? Like you need to m make a lot of stuff sometimes to, as it were, make progress. Um, so yes, so that was kind of like uh, uh, something just to share with you that um, now I love it. Now the sketchbooks I have, I don't think I'll get rid of them. I might alter them in the future, but I actually kind of like to look through these sketchbooks. I do feel... Uh, that they're kind of like they give me ideas and I think they've really helped me the other thing to say is they really helped me like loosen up in other work and that's something I've been wanting to do for myself and you know how do we yeah how do we get looser um, I guess experimenting with scribbles and marks and lines and just you know play being playful with your shapes that then does uh, influence you know when I've, I've just made a sketchbook process video for a landscape piece and I feel like uh, and I know I've spoken about this before but I do feel that sometimes all these different ways of working become intertwined okay so maybe I'll just reflect a little bit more on the process in this page because I actually really like it and I think I'm going to repeat it so this is just to say another thing that's so fun about these sketchbooks like sometimes I'll discover I'll do something on a page I should get better at making notes on it and I'm like I really want to repeat this because this has worked there's something about it so here I've stuck tissue paper and this was like you know and you get um I think plates and stuff it's wrapped in tissue paper so I now keep that because you can stick it over 
um, quite heavy drawings and I love how it mutes the sort of, you know, you get the difference sort of transparency and the colours, but the marks, the underlying art still comes through. Um, but if it's too heavy and in your face, it's a way of just like paring it back or um, easing it into the background. And yeah, and then I use on top of it, I've found that uh, that the metallic markers work quite well. I think in the past I've also tried oil pastel, but sometimes you've got to be a bit careful with tissue paper, I feel, because it is so delicate and fragile. Like if I'm not careful, I can, um, you know, sort of like tear into it. But then that's interesting in itself. So actually maybe engraving into it is a fun thing. So, yeah, so this is the joy of these type of sketchbooks. You get to play around, break some rules. Nobody, you know, and I've not watched, I'm sure other artists are doing this because I also truly believe that nothing is original. So I'm sure there's a YouTube video somewhere where someone's made some tissue paper art and coloured over it. But to be honest with you, um, a lot of this stuff I'm finding out for myself when I'm doing this I'm just grabbing I'm just seeing what happens when I use you know like oil pastel on top of metallic markers like what's the effect and that for me um, allows me to be free and have fun as well but this is a quite a nice technique that I definitely will repeat so yeah so collage has been has totally like changed up um it's really made me appreciate collage more as well in sort of mixed media work and yeah I just love layering I think it's a whole like now I'm seeing this piece and you know I'm imagining it like if I was to go crazy and just layer and layer upon it like what would happen um so yeah that is why I'm coming I've got another couple of about a minute and a half um to the end of this process so I'm putting in some more lines um and I think I make a little post-it note. I am trying to, I should get better at writing a few details on these pages. Because I think, you know, written notes also are quite fun to have to look back on. Um, maybe, yeah, if I was brave, say about how I was feeling or what I was thinking. I don't know if I'm going to go that journally. But in some ways they are, a, you know, a, a marker of, a bit of a marker of my morning. Um, but yeah, no, I really, I did enjoy this one and I am, I'm personally pleased with how it turned out and it's given me some ideas for uh, some future uh, sketchbook spreads. Uh, in fact, it's time for me when I finished off this voiceover to get going in that sketchbook. So I'm looking forward to doing some more abstract work and yeah, um, I hope wherever you are, you're getting some art time in, um, any questions or different process videos you'd like to see let me know in the comments um thanks as always for hanging out with me um spending a bit of time here and uh yeah to say i do appreciate thanks also to my patreon supporters who also support this channel um and at, at the moment yeah i'm back hopefully back uh to a more like term time schedule so going to be making some more videos with uh, sketchbook tools, processes, and I've also got some ideas for more general um, videos. Uh, any questions you'd like me to focus on, obviously let me know in the comments as well. But otherwise, thanks as always again. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.